Back up. Today we are in North Georgia on the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, today we're going to be spending some time looking for scarlet king snakes again. Um, we biffed on that yesterday, but it was Did also we what now we biffed. But yeah, yesterday we biffed on the scarlet king. So today we're going to be spending some more time looking for them. Hopefully we turn some up pretty early, so then we can switch to some other targets. But um, we're going to start walking here and hopefully turn some snakes up. There it is. Um, that's what we came here in search of. That's a scarlet king snake, a pretty big one. Super handsome snake. The snake really doesn't show up adequately in the video, but you can see the red on his head there, absolutely beautiful. Um, if you look on the body, he's got some blisters. Noah mentioned that that might be from him just emerging from hibernation, but absolutely stunning snake. I really didn't think we were gonna see anything today. I know, I was actually getting like I was getting, I was getting pissed, off. pissed off too, yeah. I was trying to call you and I heard your feet <laughs> shuffling and I was like, oh, here he comes. So I just held it up and like, I have a video of you cresting the ridge with a scarlet and you're like, what do you have? Talk to me. <laughs> oh God, that's so good. There you can get a really good look at just how cool his face is. Check that out. That doesn't well, happen often. It does not happen often that the one snake you see all day is this. What an incredible, incredible snake. I never really understood the hype around these guys, but now I now I do. That's the exact same thing I heard Aaron Short say a week ago. <laughs> what a handsome, handsome snake. I love the face on him too, check that out. And he is so cooperative. All right, well, we're gonna return this guy to his rock, um, maybe move to a new area to try for some different snakes today. Oh my goodness, that was nice. Okay, no. So right there is our next. Oh my God! This is only the second snake yeah, of the, the day. The second snake all day. Ridiculous. Is a uh, ring neck snake here. Um, not much to say about him, but it is a snake, so look at that jump. Remember that one? Yeah. Oh! All right, so as you just saw, we flipped this absolutely beautiful eastern milk snake here. Um, this is actually my very first milk snake east of the Mississippi. Absolutely stunning snake. As you can see, he's got this red coloration on the sides there. Uh, not as beautiful, striking crimson as what we see, you know, on the plains back in Colorado, but absolutely beautiful snake. Noah actually took a moment to look back at some older photos that we have, or that he has of this snake, and it turns out that he has seen this snake before. It is pretty cool that these milk snakes are just hanging out um, at this little spot that we found them at here. It's definitely not something that I would be used to seeing back home. Milk snakes just spending the winter right where you can flip them <laughs> um, in the spring and in the summer. So um, we are going to release this snake real quick. I just wanted to get a bit uh, more video of this guy um, and spend some time talking about how awesome he is. As you can see on the side there, just that coloration is so fantastic. Uh, it's definitely different from what we're used to seeing, but I am absolutely blown away by it. Oh, it stink boy. Another one. It's like... Isn't it? I am from Colorado, and I have to tell you people, this here is not an easy hike. We switched locations since that milk snake. Um, we are now up in um, on a pretty steep hill here that we are trying to hike up to find uh, timber rattlesnakes, to find black king snakes, and to find more milk snake. First snake of the day, Noah flipped under a rock here. It's just a southern ringneck snake. Um, it's not really, really that special, but um, it is another snake for the day. So we are gonna keep on moving, hopefully find something else. Um, just take a second to show off the belly on these guys. Everybody talks about their bellies, so I'm sure that some of you have heard about it, but cool snake. Gorgeous belly, um, we're gonna let it go now. So in Noah's hand right here, we have the next two snakes of the day. These guys are Eastern worm snakes. Noah and I just flipped these snakes at the same exact time. Uh, these guys are pretty cool. Um, just kind of a innocuous, you know, dark colored fossorial snake. So there's not too much to say about it, but um, we are pretty excited to see two more snakes today. 
Um, we're finishing strong. We started real weak, and we are finishing strong. We're actually so. finding snakes. Yeah, we, we, we are herping. We are herping somewhat reliably. So we're going to keep working up through this habitat here and hopefully turn up some more snakes. So here we have the next snake of the day. This is a smooth earth snake. Evidently, these aren't too, too common where we're at right now. So um, it's always good to add a you know, more tricky species to the list. Next man up is this uh, southern ringneck snake. It's a pretty big one. Um, once again, nothing really too special about these guys, but it's always um, a good thing to add to the tally. Here's another look at that beautiful belly on him. These are cool snakes. Um, we have them back home, um, and they're a little on the rare side in southeastern Colorado, but out here they're pretty common, so I'm not going to say too much about this. We're just going to take a quick video and then let them go. I often find that the best way to escape the harsh realities of being an adult in 2021 is by playing with things that you find under rocks. Right? Right? Hey Noah, do you think we're breaking the spell today? The Speckled King spell? Yeah. I hope so. I sure hope so too. Yes, Hello everybody, it is the morning of day three in Georgia today. Noah and I are currently in the state of Alabama looking for my biggest white whale that there ever was, speckled king snakes. They're much more common out here than they are back home. So hopefully, hopefully we can break this spell. Speckled! Shed. What's up, kiddo? <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Alabama speckle king. That's a big one, too. Holy God, dude. Oh, man. All right, well, we did it. We herped. What's up, buddy? Well, there it is. It's a little bit in shed. <laughs> a little bit. But it is a speckled king snake. We did it. We herped. He is big, dude. That's what a one of the bigger snake. ones I've seen. There it is. Um, this is most of the reason why I came to the southeast in the first place is to find this snake right here. This is a speckled king snake. We struggle immensely with these back home, but out here they're a little bit more common. Um, pretty big snake. Noah and I are going to get some photos here. Um, it's not the best looking snake, as you can see from that eye from his belly. He's pretty deep in shed. Um, so we're not going to spend too much time with this one here just because um, we can spend that time getting another one that's larger or better looking um, and is not in shed. So super, super happy about this snake. I have not seen the Speckled King snake in almost four years. So um, absolutely thrilled to have found this guy. I lost it when we found him because I was so excited. But um, this is an absolutely awesome snake. So we're going to keep it up and hopefully we'll turn up at least another one. Oh. Mud Damn. snake mattress. Yay! Yay! <laughs> no! Ready? Since our last appearance, I probably destroyed my phone. So now we are using the camera. I think he was Since you lost, last saw me, I destroyed my phone, so now we're using the uh, actual camera. I was uh, jumping on a mattress that we flipped, and I just accidentally threw my phone into a foot of water. I found it. We recovered the phone. And it worked, but it's now off, so um, it's going to be better video quality day. Hopefully we get another king shortly, because um, right now it's about maybe 2 in the afternoon. Uh, still got about 5 hours left, but parents are right. Don't jump on the bed, kids. Look at this, dude. Oh! 
Oh, speckled king. Oh, yeah. Well, folks, it is a speckled king, but... Uh... <laughs> He's got a lot of character. He's got a great personality. He does. He, he hasn't bit once. Yeah, he's very nice, but, uh, yeah. Another inchhead speckle can know. Uh, the spell is gone, but you know what this spell is? spell is here. We're repenting for finding a bunch of nice, not inchhead snakes over the last couple <laughs> days. Like the Scarlet King and the Milk were both in pretty good condition. I wish he would stop pooping on himself. If I can actually get a picture of him. <laughs> Here's this guy one last time. Um, I'm pretty amped to be able to find some speckle kings, although um, the ones around here turn up a lot better than this. So um, we're gonna let him go back under his tin right here. Um, and then we are gonna hit some other spots and hopefully find some more king snakes. I think this is a piece as well. Never produce anything, but. How? Next snake of the day right here is a real big, real handsome southern copperhead right here. Whew, the reds on that and the pinks on that thing are insane. It's a great looking snake. Cool snake though. Um, if you can't tell, it's raining and we're getting wet, so I'm not going to keep the camera out in the rain too, too much. But I haven't seen a copperhead in a couple of years now, so we're going to shoot this guy real quick. Hopefully finish up this spot before we get hit by lightning and then peel on out of here. So, uh... We were just about done flipping this spot when he showed up. This is the best speckled king that we've seen so far today. As you can tell, it is raining pretty hard here. Good looking face on that snake. The rest of him isn't so hot, but still super happy to have seen him. This is like the find of my year back home. We're gonna take some shots of this snake. We got some real cool, uh, we got a real cool place here to shoot them. So we're gonna take some shots and then um, I'll get some more footage before we release him. All right, folks, so pretty good day here. Three speckled king snakes, and as Noah pointed out earlier to me, three different counties. Just have a look at that face there. Great snakes. I mean, king snakes are all stunners to some, to some degree. We're gonna toss him back under his tin after a quick photo of him, and then we are gonna get on out of here. Hopefully we'll be able to flip a little bit more before we head on home, but, um, with the intensity of this storm, nothing is really certain right now. So we're going to release him and get on out of here. <laughs> well, everybody, here's our boy. This is my very first got a car uh, four line oh, car. Here, we'll All right, game on. Uh, car! Game on! Game on! Well, here's some more. <laughs> Away just jumped the third spring peeper. Um, these guys are really, really cool little frogs. As you can see, cool patterning on the back, gorgeous base color. These guys are just awesome. Super, super fun. This is so cool. He's over it though. Yeah. Before I let you guys go, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching these videos. It is finally spring again. That means that there is going to be content coming at least once a week for the foreseeable future. So if you guys like reptiles and reptile content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.